Hello, this is Alex on Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the third week of October. First up, Cacao Bank and Dell CEOs discuss cooperation. Cacao Bank announced on October 18th that its CEO, Yoon Ho Young, had an online meeting with Michael Dell, chairman and CEO of the global IT company Dell, and discussed ways to continue to strengthen partnerships and secure competitiveness in the era of digital transformation of finance. At this event, CEO Yoon presented Cacao Bank's strategy to expand the retail financial market and leap forward into the financial platform in the direction of mobile banking. The CEO Dell shared the company's achievements leading the global cloud infrastructure and client solution markets and trends in global financial companies. Dell supplies a comprehensive IT portfolio covering infrastructure solutions such as cloud server and storage to IT consulting and implementation services. Cacao Bank has been using Dell solutions and services in various fields. The CEO Yoon said it was a meaningful event to share the direction of the future financial platform and strengthen mutual partnership. Cacao Bank will continue financial innovation by expanding collaboration with companies with the world's best technology. Michael Dell, on his part, said, I would like to thank Cacao Bank for establishing a good cooperative relationship with Dell. It was a meaningful time to discuss how to apply Dell's solutions for Cacao Bank's success in business. Next up, Naver presents 13 papers at the International Conference on Computer Vision, the most ever. Naver proved its AI technology prowess by presenting 13 papers at the International Conference on Computer Vision, or ICCV, which was the most ever. These papers were presented in an official session along with Naver Labs Europe and LINE at the online conference held from October 11th to the 17th. One of these papers had the honor of being presented orally, which is only given to about 3% of research. Neighbor has been participating in ICCV since 2017. Since then, it has strengthened its investment in AI, and the number of papers accepted has been increasing every year. Neighbor also presented a paper that can be applied to actual services at ICCV. The papers are written about the technology that can effectively create fonts even with just a little bit of handwriting data and image recognition technology. Ha Dong Wu, leader of Naver Clova AI Lab, said AI is now evolving beyond research into a technology that creates new values in people's lives. Naver has been investing in a wide range of AI technologies, from AI theory to research that can be applied to actual services, and it is consistently reaping results. He added the revitalization of industry and university cooperation with domestic and foreign research institutes such as Seoul National University, Yonsei University, and the University of Tubingen also contributed to these achievements. For our third story, Iceco opens the second unmanned convenience store, Iceco 24, in Pangyo. Iceco opened an additional AI unmanned store, Iceco 24, in the U Space Building in Pangyo Techno Valley in Songnam, Gyeonggi-do, on October 19th. It is the second AI unmanned convenience store in Korea following an unmanned liquor store in Gogeung-dong, Songnam, last May. A third store will also open in Yoksam-dong in Gangnam this month. Iceco plans to open its 10th store by the end of this year. Aside from Pangyo Techno Valley, it is targeting other areas like Gangnam, Songdo, Incheon, and Jeju. The reason for designating Pangyo Techno Valley as a strategic location for store expansion is the concentration of younger workers such as those at gaming companies. 78% of the employees working in Pangyo companies are in their 20s and 30s. Kim Young-joon is a 34-year-old man who is the owner of the second store. He said, I chose Iceco 24 because I was able to keep my current job. Unlike the self-checkout stores where the customers have to check in the barcodes, it features completely autonomous payment systems, which makes checkouts more reliable. For our final main story, OnLab holds ISF 2021 for intelligent transformation beyond digital transformation. On October 20th, OnLab held its annual security conference, ISF 2021. The latest security trends and OnLab strategies and technologies were introduced there. Kang Song Kyun, CEO of OnLab, said, Since telecommuting and cloud technologies have been more common with COVID-19, cyber threats are on the rise. These threats that have already become advanced will not go away even if COVID-19 does. 
With digital transformation, we are required to optimize new technologies according to the characteristics and conditions of the organization and strengthen security. OnLab put special emphasis on operational technology, OT, cloud tech, and artificial intelligence, or AI. OT systems mostly made up of closed networks are theoretically a safe environment, but in reality, the system is damaged through methods such as accessing the OT system by infecting the IT system connected to the OT system or the user's PC. Therefore, a security strategy specialized for OT is needed. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. Our first quick story, Hancom acquires digital marketing company UDM in an effort to go beyond public service and provide personal service. Korean software company Hancom is taking full action to expand its sales channels focused on public institutions and companies to general consumers. Hancom announced on October 19th that it will acquire a 63% stake in the integrated digital marketing company Urban Digital Marketing or UDM. Next up, Naver helps revitalize courier businesses in traditional markets jointly with Goods, Flow, and Hanjin Transportation. Naver announced on October 20th that it will start a parcel delivery support experiment, Good Delivery, for small and medium sized businesses in traditional markets in partnership with a logistics platform company, Goods Flow, and courier company, Hanjin Transportation. Naver started recruiting markets and sellers who wish to use this service on its food window blog and smart store center. Good Delivery is a service that aims to reduce the logistics burden of small and medium sized businesses in traditional markets by delivering small shipments and providing them at a reasonable price. Our third quick news is Samsung Heavy Industries certifies digital twin technology in core technology for autonomous ships. Samsung Heavy Industries announced on October 20th that its self-developed fault diagnosis system S-Vessel CDM and LNG fuel supply system S-Fugas received digital twin technology certification from Lloyd's Register in the UK. Digital Twin is a technology that expresses objects and environments that exist in the real world in the same virtual space. It's considered to be a core technology for autonomously operated vessels with no humans on board. And that's it for your Pongo Techno Valley News of the Week. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.